and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Vladimir Rally. Uh, I notice it's been about 20 days since we played this deck, and so I feel like it's just time to bring it back. Now the problem is, is even though we did we did fairly well the last time we played it, I think we went like seven and three, so like we did, you know, it's pretty good. Um, this is like a go wide deck, as you can tell. Like we're Arena Battlecaster, House Spider. You're like we're trying to go wide with our Noxus uh, creatures. But I don't feel like this is the best metagame for a go wide deck like this. Um, you know, since basically since the change with Brood Awakening costing five, you know, there's been an, uh, an abundance of Brood Awakening around that you know, is really good at blocking. And then people building their decks designed to try to fight that with like Withering Wheels and things like that. And all, all sorts of static shocks everywhere because of how good Ezreal is. So overall, I'm, I'm a little. Um, I'm a little worried that this deck won't be as good as it was 20 days ago, but we don't know until we really give it a try, right? You know, we might as well give it a try and uh, and see. Um, but yeah, so that, that's basically what our deck's trying to do. We're trying to get as much damage in early as possible, go wide, and then use, um, as far as getting late game damage in, we have like crowd favorite that can be very large if we can get a lot of creatures in play. And then we have both Lucian and Senna. You know, we have that combination. If we can get either Lucian or Senna to level up, which this isn't technically leveling up, but you know what I mean. And if we can get them to double attack, then we have the Might to give them Overwhelm, and they can do a ridiculous amount of damage, even through a blocker, because they get to the double attack. They strike twice. And then all the while, we have Vladimir at the top end for our finisher. Vladimir does one damage to all of our uh, units and then one to them. Hopefully we have like four or five other units in play when we're attacking with Vladimir. So that's like four or five damage straight to the opponent. Uh, that can kill off some stuff. You know, like we do have like the one toughness things that can kill off. Um, but our transfusion kind of helps with that as well. And uh, we hope that just even, even if we are killing some stuff, it's hopefully uh, enough damage to finish them. And then, of course, we have the Relentless Pursuits for extra attacks you know, to, to really help our aggressive deck. So that's what our deck's all about. It's Vladimir Rally. Let's... Um, oh, we're not in the, the play mode. Let's go over here. Let's do the loadout. We want our board to be... Let's do Reckoner's Arena. And then our Guardian is the Silverman. Okay. Here we go. So basically, I don't want to see Static Shock, basically. That card's going to frequently be like a 3 for 1, and therefore really devastating. Let's keep in Transfusion. Maybe we just keep all of this. No, we'll get rid of Transfusion. I would love to have another 1 drop where I can uh, play 1-1 one, one drop and then 2 more for the next 2 turns. Perfect. Um, if I play Saboteur, they can have the thermo Thermogenic Beam and kill the Saboteur right away. question is, do we go Battlecaster or do we go straight to attacks? And we're going Battlecaster. It's possible... Hmm. That's slightly annoying. It's possible that I should be going uh, Crimson Disciple instead of Battlecaster. Dang, that jury rig was rough. One shot, all skill. Nailed it. I just get free mystic shots. This 
is going to be difficult to outgrind. We don't necessarily need to outgrind it. We just got to get enough damage in. Alright, hopefully our Vladimir gets to attack. Come on, Vlad. Let us go to attacks. No thermogenic beam, no will of Ionia. So let us attack. Alright. So this is... This is hopefully 9 damage. They can obviously have other, you know, other things. It's not guaranteed 9 damage. You're between me and glory. Sure. That only does two now. And then these both do two. And then that does two. All right, we got them down to two, and we got Ezreal out of here. This Noxus board has some good music for our deck. Boo. I hate this health potion card. I hate it. One toughness creatures with Vladimir. I Today we turn the tide of war. Uh, just the direct damage here, if this if this happens, would be five. You know, like, the Crimson Pack would do four, this would do one. I guess this would do an extra two. So if this just happens, this is seven direct damage to him. Awesome. Good job, Vladimir. All right, Vladimir Rally. We did have a, we had a very good hand. Oh, that's my daily quest is play ten elites. I didn't even know that was my quest. I've been forgetting to check my daily quest. Alright, so another aggressive deck, Lucian Zed. So that definitely goes, and then... I need a one-drop, right? Like, I need to attack with a one-drop turn one. Do I want to get rid of any of these for the one... to look for the one-drop? Not really. I'm gonna just hopefully draw a one-drop. No. We have two shots at it. First shot bricked, second shot bricked. Man, two three drops. That was not good. So basically I was thinking keeping the Senna, because 
we'll have the attack token turn three. Um, like they're probably just going to have, like, Zed plus protection, right? Like, if I play Senna, they'll, they'll just kill Senna. But I guess that uses their protection spell. Yeah, we just play Senna. I'm what nightmares be. Yeah, it's it's definitely good to, a good time if you ever beat the Ez Karma deck. Um... Missed your chance to run. All right, we'll trade that one one to get six damage in. I need no weapon. Okay, so this is the standalone rally deck. Better to play Senna. Making the dead dead. We could definitely have like the lifesteal barrier. Which would be really rough. Darn it. Darn it. Well, double standalone. I'm probably dead. Yeah. What a deny. What a hand, though. Double standalone. Just pumped it up too much. <laughs> yeah, if only we had Purify. Yeah, Purify would have been great, yeah. But that's what that deck does. It's it's a good deck, that standalone deck. We played we played a version of that deck yesterday with Fiora and you know went four one and uh, it's a good deck. We were doing that yesterday, but that rally was going to be awesome for us. Um, was going to be awesome for us. I would, I didn't mind like that hand that we had, but I feel like I should be looking for like our Lucian and Zed, or sorry, our Lucian and Senna. And cards like that as well. Yeah, Solitary Monk with all that stuff is pretty broken. So, of course, I want to trade because, like, with Vladimir, it's not great for me to keep one toughness. 
units around. Push back the darkness. I'll try anyone. So do I just go to attacks or play Lucian first? Next turn I play that, that. I think I want to just get the two points of damage in. And not risk it. I don't know, it's probably not that much of a risk. All right, we'll, we'll play the Lucian first. We'll see if we get punished. You know, next turn we'll have Battlecaster plus uh, Disciple on turn four. Discipline and steel. Bring in the heat. All right, well, I get three points in instead of two. We only play both of these on turn four and then untap turn five. Vladimir, swing in, get the double Crimson Disciple trigger. New recruit reporting in. Oh, I can't wait. FEMA with the raid. What's up, everybody from FEMA stream? What'd y'all do today? What were y'all playing? That's a lot of Cythrias. Raid! Yeah, welcome everybody. We got Vladimir Rally. That's our current deck. This is direct damage of eight. So they'll be at seven before blocks. Okay. Cool. So you're playing some TSL for your old followers and subs. All right, let me try to guess what TSL stands for. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not real good with with names and stuff. So, just, so let's see. TESL. Prime Eternal Shadow League. I'll sleep with their dead. That's probably not it. Um. Justice will be served. Hmm. Not sure. First tip: It's a card game. Okay. Card game. Card game. I need to play the rally and also attack. Gosh, I can't believe I'm not going to be able to do one point of damage here. Can't believe this Radiant Guardian is going to kill me. That's is for scrolls. Okay, uh, the Elder Scroll Legends. Okay, is that the Elder Scroll Legends? Yeah, okay. Um. This Radiant Guardian is just what a killer. Banish the unworthy. 
I thought we were like winning this game for sure. But Radiant Guardian. Like, how do I do six points of damage? I think the answer is I can't. Yeah, they they get to attack again. Remember the fallen. Could be useful. From this land. And I thought we had this game. So we got we got their radiant guardian out of here. So they're at eleven now. No one's the wiser. With radiant guardian dead. They still, of course, have Lucian. Um, Push back the darkness. That Lucian's gonna be difficult to beat. If I, I mean, what happens if I attack out? Like they can have the five four. I was thinking they'd have the five four block the, the my Lucian, but then they would need this thing dies. They would need their Lucian would have to block one of these. Yeah, let's give this let's give this a, a try. I mean, that's assuming they don't have another spell in hand. I, I don't know exactly what they have in hand, but um, stand and fight. Yeah, we may get to kill this this Lucian. We'll see. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. This is still them taking lethal, right? Yeah, twelve. Okay, they're just gonna take twelve. Well, that doesn't seem like a very good block. I feel like they should have blocked the six power. Six damage thing. All right, Vladimir rally. We still got there, even through that radiant guardian. That was a nice, you know, second Vladimir draw. He gave us the transfusion. So here we go. Yeah, I hope so too, Fima. I hope so too. Um, just 
keep them all? Or do I get rid of the transfusion? I think I'm going to keep them all. And again, we want to start with the the thing that doesn't die to thermogenic beam on turn one. Um, I think I like the transfusion here too. Like they use a removal, like whatever removal spell we can, you know, help save it. But of course, I have to be willing to not tap out. Dang. Have all the room. Alright, well I guess I cast these two. Down to 12. Next turn I'll have Battlecaster and actually be able to protect Battlecaster. Ooh, where do I go Senna? Probably Battlecaster. I like saving this. I like saving this transfusion for next turn whenever I play Vladimir. If they make that block, they die. Can't make that block. It's always this health potion. So what, they go to one? Two? This health potion is killing me. Alright, Vladimir's quite a ways from leveling up still. Ooh. That could be fun. That could be fun. We had a game with the fearsome midrange that I thought like for sure that we were that we were winning and they only had one mana and kinda like that and they you know had the health potion. Making the day. Just have one mana. They've already used two thermogenic beams. They have to have jury rig to stay alive. Go ahead. Scare me. Excuse you. No jury rig? Alright. Vladimir plus Rally. That's the name of our deck. Vladimir Rally. I'm I'm pretty excited that we have defeated the two. Oh no, never mind. We didn't defeat the Ezreal deck the first time. I was going to say we defeated the two Ez decks. But no, actually we didn't the first time. Never mind. But yeah, you know, like our deck's definitely been very respectable. Our deck's definitely been very respectable. Thanks, FEMA. Yeah, that's my third stream in there, 2016. Thank you. Yeah, I, I really appreciate the raids and everything. Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, deck looks, or sorry, hand looks good. Hey, and FEMA's now a sub. Thank you so much, Boot. FEMA definitely deserves to be a sub. Thank you, Santa Boot. Don't get in my way. So basically, if they have. trade. I was going to say if they had the turn three remembrance, you know, how we're going to fare against it, but they didn't. What's the plan? We shoot them. Magic has no place here. getting a barrier or sorry Lucian getting getting to level up Tough call here. That was kind of a tough call. Remember the fallen. That is nice. We can kill the tracker so that we then go to attacks. Um, also, they're just passing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, FEMA. Absolutely. Why not attack Lucian after Senna? Because if we do that, they're definitely blocking Lucian, right? Like, Lucian's the, the better card to block, so if we do it that way, they, they need to block the second thing, and I'd rather them kill Senna than kill Lucian. Not detain. Um. They're not detained. I think so. Basically, I was trying to decide if I wanted to be able to cast transfusion or not. Okay. Well, the answer is definitely yes. Now, obviously, we'll do one, two, this. Give this plus two, plus two. Go straight to attacks. No room for doubt. Boom. <laughs> All right, and we'll rally. Get that attack token back. Two. 
They're at too little life, that is. All right, our deck was good. 4-1. Yeah, so we did we did well with this deck last time. Um, and, you know, last time I remember saying that this was, like, the, the best Vladimir deck. But, you know, with the patch, things kind of changed. But, yeah, it's still good. Get that Lucian Rally stuff going on. But then also get, like, the Noxus, you know, you know, get pair it with Noxus for more aggressive. Vladimir was awesome. Lucian was awesome. Um, you know, Senna was awesome. Uh, yeah, basically everything was good. Like, even, like, Vanguard Redeemer actually kind of helped us draw on uh, those extra cards to help finish things out. Battlecaster did its job. Uh, yeah, this deck, this deck went really well. Uh, Lil says... I have no Vlads. Can I still play the deck? Because I like Lucian. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you Like, if you have Garens, you just put, put Garens in there, I guess. That could be something to do. Or Darius. Maybe Darius. Something like that. You need you need a top-end thing that doesn't just die right away that helps you finish games out. So probably, like, Garen or Darius. Like, those two. Garen can get you some more. You know, it can it can rally for you. Get you some more rallies. But there we go. If you are somebody who did open up Vladimir's and you're looking for uh, some way to use Vladimir, looks like this was still good. You know, I was worried, a little worried about it, um, you know, at the beginning of the video. But yeah, it just felt, it felt really good. Um, I think we had some good variants in there, which obviously helps. But definitely some, some good stuff playing some Vladimir Rally. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Uh, let me know what you think of this for a Vladimir deck. And um, yeah, uh, there we go. Oh, also donation decks. I, I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, if you want to see your deck on stream, it's just a $10 donation. The donation link is in the video description. And uh, just put your deck code or um, or your idea for the deck that you want me to build. Um, yep, so that's, that's available. And just let me know what day you want me to play it. All right, but that's it here for Vladimir Rally. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.